Hi, I'm Katrina, your Pilates teacher at KN Pilates. Welcome to Get Started with Pilates, your 31 day journey towards a daily Pilates practice. Today is day seven, so let's begin. Today we start in seated, so you might want to sit a bit higher up if that makes it easier for you to lengthen the spine. So being on a, if this is really difficult to sit really tall, then sit on a cushion or a block or a book. And again, you don't have to be in cross legged if that's not comfortable for you. You can always have the feet sort of in this diamond shape or extended, but just keep the knees soft if you're going for that option. Good, we then start with our um, rotations where you have your fingertips on your shoulders and then breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, gently rotate, draw the navel in, look over your shoulder, breathe in, return. Breathe out to rotate. And here we want to keep the shoulders relaxed down. And See if you can keep the spine lengthening up a little bit more and more and more. So as you rotate, you spiral up and as you come back, you still spiral up. And that's not coming from the shoulders, that's literally coming from the spine. Breathe out. And if that doesn't make any sense to you, that's absolutely fine. Sometimes it can help with working just with a few sort of visuals, but take what works and leave what doesn't. Good. Relax the arms, we're coming to side reach, breathe in, reach up. Breathe out, reach over. Now keep this hip down, lengthen the arm, just as an extension of your spine and then return. Breathe in, reach up. Breathe out, reach over. Relax the shoulder down. Breathe in here. Breathe out, return. One more time each side. Breathe in. And out. And in. And out. Breathe in. And out. And in. And out. Good. Then bring the arms forward for your windows. So you draw the elbows back, keep the ribs in. Keep the elbows shoulder height. Breathe in, bring the, sho uh, bring the shoulders up to the ears. And then breathe out, relax the shoulders back down. Breathe in, and out, and in, and out. And just see how the shoulders feel. Enjoy moving the arms through a really nice big range of movement. Something we don't tend to do a lot in a normal day, most of us anyway. And then while we move the arms, we remember to keep the spine tall. Every now and then we might have to remind ourselves of that, of sort of lengthen back up, especially if you're not used to sitting with a tall spine. It can be challenging in the beginning. So if this is a bit difficult just to sit tall, just maybe just make that a little bit more of a daily practice. Good. One more of these. Breathe in. And out. And in. And then lower the arms down. Just give the shoulders a twirl. And then have your elbows by your waist, your palms facing up and then just rotate the arms. So nothing else is happening here. Because it's such a small movement, we might be tempted to stick the ribs out and arch the back and all sorts. And it's literally just this. So some people, if the shoulders are a little bit more mobile, maybe get further towards the sides and that's fine if that's you. For me, this is as far as my arms want to rotate. 
So we work with that. Good. And then we extend the arms away. So you rotate, extend, draw the elbows back and return. Rotate, extend, draw back and return. Last few of these. And then if you want to have a breathing pattern with this, you breathe in and out, and in and out. But if in doubt, breathe, especially with these sort of movements, they are more mobilizing rather than strength exercises. And we'll do a bit more of that next week. Good. One more of these. And extend and return. Good. We then extend. Again, you can either just stay facing forwards, and I'll just do this um, side with the side view. Yes, so we do the leg slides again. We've done those before. And here, you just want to have the um, hands behind your fingers facing forwards or out, whichever feels more comfortable for you. Um, you want to send the heart forwards rather than sinking into the space. You want to send the heart forwards and relax the shoulders away from the ears. And then breathe in to slide the heel away, flex the foot, breathe out to lift, breathe in to lower, breathe out, return, extend, and lift, lower down. So remember with these, we want to keep the spine tall rather than sinking back. It's so tempting to do that. But if we're leaning back a little bit already, then we should be fine. So if you're here with a really tall spine, that is quite a lot more challenging. So if that's comfortable for you, you can do that. But as we're only getting started, yeah, feel free to lean back a bit, but try to keep the shoulders away and really push through that heel, flex the foot, Last few of these. And we always want to even out right and left, ideally. Good. One more. Excellent. We'll come into supine again. So have your cushion under your head and your hands on your hip connection, your feet hip width and parallel, knees hip width as well. We'll just start again with a few pelvic tilts, just to sort of um, mobilize the lower back, your lumbar spine. Feel how um, we extend the spine, with this one, and then flex the spine. And then we also just want to use this to find our neutral spine and pelvis. Yeah, so one more of these, breathe out. And then, good. Then find your neutral. And again, if you are working on a mat, just make sure you can extend the leg fully without um, going further off the mat. Yeah. So we'll go back into our leg slides. So you breathe in as you slide the heel away. Breathe out for a tiny, tiny lift. Lower down and then draw that heel back. Other side always alternating. So with these, we just want to remember to push the heel away, flex that foot. Make sure to keep the back still as we lift the leg. And that lift is very small. Yeah, definitely not higher than the other knee. So it's just a small lift there. And then also one thing that we want to be aware of is that the heel comes back in line with the hip bone. So we come back into that hip width position. Yeah. Good. And then again for your breathing pattern, you breathe in and out and in and out one more of these all 
fabulous. We then go into spine curls. So take the cushion away, ideally. And then bring the feet a bit closer. You can either keep the hands on your whip hip connection or relax the arms by your sides, whichever you prefer. And then you want to breathe in to prepare. Breathe out to imprint. Push the feet down gently. Send the knees forwards as you come up into neutral. So don't ever watch. Just come onto your shoulder blades here. And then roll back down. Reverse the movement. Gently imprint if that feels good. And then release. Breathe in as you're still. Breathe out to move. Send the knees forwards. Breathe in as you're still. And breathe out to move. So you might remember from when we did this previously that we're trying to breathe into the ribcage rather than into the belly. So as we're up here, we breathe into the ribs. And then breathe out to roll back down. And as always, you can have the arms by your sides if that feels more comfortable. Either way is fine. Good. One more of these and then we stay up. So gently imprint. Roll up. Find your neutral spine and pelvis. Make sure the knees are pointing forwards. The feet are firmly on the floor. And then here again, just breathe into the ribs, keeping a navel drawn in a teeny tiny bit, just making sure that we're not actually breathing into the belly. Maybe focus on breathing into your shoulder blades. That sometimes helps us to redirect the breath. One more. Good. And then reach the arms back, breathe in. Breathe out, turn roll back down. Release the arms wherever you need to. Extend arms and legs, have a good stretch. And then just hug one knee in. And then the other, either stay here or walk from side to side or draw circles. So whichever feels good, you can try them all out. Good. Place one foot down and then the other. And we're done.